It's been a wild 2018 season in the NFL. You need a little refresher? Well, here is everything that's happened. We picked up pretty much right where we left off, going from this epic celebration to raising their first ever banner to the Raptors in the 215. Enjoy it while it lasts, Philly. We also saw the return of the Mac. Oh my God! This time in a different uniform. Our deepest apologies, John Gruden. He'd go on to terrorize the entire NFC with the monsters of the Midway. More on that later. Guess who we didn't see? This guy. Steelers star running back Le'Veon Bell held out for his dough and ultimately skipped the entire 2018 season. Pissed off thousands of fantasy owners across America. And passed up on... Wait, how much money?! While Le'Veon was holding out for even more bread, we said hello to James Conner and his awesome hair, who popped on the scene, dominated the run game for the Steelers, and turned some heads in the process. 2018 was also the return of Fitz Magic, aka the baddest man on the planet, or something like that. But really, we were all pretty convinced we found the real goat. Spoiler alert, that did not last long. And can we talk about that Cleveland glow up for a sec? Cause uh, the Browns went from celebrating not losing. We can't go 0 and 2 because we just tied. To actually winning a game. We are all witnesses. Yep, Baker Mayfield brought hope to the land. He also brought the same college swag, fiery personality, and shade. Anything's better than you. Oh, uh, you. Which made us all do this. Because it's Mayfield. Yeah! Guess what Mayfield has? What? Cop video, junk, and two wins. <laughs> Bang. Speaking of young stars, Patrick Mahomes made his first start for the Chiefs. And, uh, well, turns out this guy is pretty, pretty good at football. I mean, are you serious? It's just silly. And so Mahomie mania swept the nation. Even if he does put ketchup on his mac and cheese. The high-flying, southern, drawl-having gunslinger... But I, I like to say that I can get anywhere from 80 to 85 yards. ...broke records left and right, but he wasn't the only one racking them up. Drew Brees, at the ripe age of 40, became the NFL's all-time passing leader and broke a bunch of other records, too. Julio Jones reached 10,000 receiving yards, and Adam Thielen joined some pretty good company in Megatron. All the glory goes to the offensive guys, right? Well, not exactly. Khalil Mack showed everybody why he was the most coveted defensive player of the offseason and made the Raiders look silly in the process. Aaron Donald messed around and broke the single-season sacks record for defensive tackles. And while J.J. Watt wasn't busy terrorizing opposing quarterbacks, he was repping Shroop Farms. Michael! Let's talk about repping the passer, shall we? Because the NFL really cracked down this season. I mean, really cracked down. Roughing the passer and you. To quarterbacks everywhere, you're welcome. Then Thursday Night Football came to Fox, which brought a few tears, some nonsense. Whoa, 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 oh, oh, yeah. It's a man down. And a whole lot of fun. We took celebrations to a whole new level and even brought back some classics. Shout out to the homie Joe Horn. You know who else had a reason to celebrate? Oh, just the entire city of Chicago with Mitchapalooza and Mac and Matt Nagy's sweet visor, the Bears wreaked havoc on the NFC North and earned their first trip to the playoffs since 2010. While the Bears were on the come up, it was a lot of the same old, same old for the New York football giants. Q sad Eli face dot gif. And pour one out for all the sideline equipment that crosses OBJ's path. Yikes. Somebody's hated. Des Bryant returned and promptly suffered a season ending injury. That is great. Quickly. On a lighter note, the NFL brought us a lot of moments that made us go, aww, football really is family. And how about the Cowboys? <laughs> America's team had a, a tumultuous season. They started 3-5, and five, not ideal, but got hot in the second half of the season thanks to Connor McGregor. Hey, whatever works, y'all. Because they finally made it back to the playoffs and all of Texas was like... And the Rams fit right in in Hollywood. Welcome to the new greatest show on turf. We saw the return of old St. Nick. That's right, Nick Foles stepped in for the injured Carson Wentz once again and went on a magical tear to save the Eagles' playoff hopes. We'll have what he's having. Also, hey, remember when everyone was debating when Father Time would catch up with these guys? LOL. Drew Brees danced his way through the NFC all season, and Tom Brady, well, he's still Tom Brady, a.k.a. the GOAT, a.k.a. the greatest to ever do it. You get the picture. On to the playoffs. Playoffs? Yep. 
playoffs. And buckle up, folks, because this is where things get interesting. Let's start with who won't be there. Looking at you, Steelers. Pittsburgh imploded in their final stretch of the season. I mean, they were forced to root for the Browns, for God's sake, to save their playoff chances. Of course, that didn't work out. And on top of it all, Antonio Brown says he's had about enough. But the games begin. What about the Bears? Well, they were one swing of Cody Parkey's leg away from beating the Eagles in the wild card. We all know how that one ended. This sparked a lot of bird box memes and inevitably embarrassing field goal tryouts. All of this to cap off a very, very, very long season for kickers in the NFL. We might as well have stuck OBJ back there. Back to the Cowboys. Their triumphant return was, well, not long lived. Dallas ran into the buzzsaw that is the Los Angeles Rams and themselves and made a pretty quick exit from the playoffs. On to championship weekend. This was the best championship weekend ever. There, I said it. Both games went into overtime and both faced some seriously juicy controversy. We're definitely blaming Drake for that. Let's start with the Chiefs' Pats. Julian Edelman muffed the punt, or did he, after a very close review? Turns out he actually didn't. Tom Brady prevailed because water is wet. Then Saints-Rams happened, and so did the non-pass interference call heard around the world. People were not happy. It's just disappointing. Worst blown call in NFL history. And it's fairly obvious it's a pass interference. This was horrendous. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. So there you have it, folks. The New England Patriots versus the Los Angeles Rams, the gritty vets. We're still here! Versus the flashy wonderkins. I think we ain't doing it. East Coast versus West Coast. Brady, Goff, Belichick, McVay. It all goes down in the ATL. Super Bowl 53. Let's go.